Rossville is a neighborhood of Staten Island, New York, on the island's south shore. It is located to the north of Woodrow, to the west of Arden Heights, and to the south and east of the Arthur Kill. History Early history originally inhabited by the Raritan Indians. The area that eventually became known as Rossville remained largely free of European settlers until 1684 when the first land survey of the area was made by the British who obtained Staten Island from the Dutch in the Treaty of Breda, which ended the Second Anglo-Dutch War. In 1692, Daniel Perrar, a Huguenot originally from Jersey, was granted 80 acres of land in the area by Governor Benjamin Fletcher. The earliest known permanent settlement of the area is thought to be around the early 1700s by Peter Wynant, son of Peter's Winant. One the earliest known permanent settlers of Staten Island, who arrived from Holland in 1661. During the mid-18th century, the area was known as Old Blazing Star, and later simply Blazing Star, for a tavern located there. The Blazing Star Ferry, which crossed the Arthur Kill to Woodbridge Township, New Jersey was established in the years before the American Revolution, when the Richmond Turnpike was built across Richmond County in 1816. It improved connections to the western parts of the island and to the competing new Blazing Star Ferry in Long Neck, which had steamboat and stagecoach connections to Philadelphia. By the 1830s the area was renamed Rossville after Colonel William E. Ross, who had built a replica of Windsor Castle on a bluff overlooking the landing of the Blazing Star Ferry. By the mid-19th century, Rossville was a thriving farm community and the village grew around it. However, when the Staten Island Railroad, which bypassed Rossville, opened in 1860, most Staten Islanders began referring to neighborhoods along its route by the name of the nearest station, hence Rossville became colloquially part of Prince's Bay. Poor transportation caused the town's decline until the completion of the West Shore Expressway in 1976. The resulting residential building boom encouraged longtime farmers to sell their land to developers which fueled rapid growth in the area. Continuing to this day, Sandy Ground within Rossville is Sandy Ground, among the oldest surviving communities in the United States, which was founded by free African Americans prior to the American Civil War, with the first documented land purchased by an African American in the area dating to 1828, just months after the abolition of slavery in New York State. Several of the community's historic structures are still extant, including five that have been designated as New York City landmarks, including a church, a cemetery, and three homes. Some residents also live in the original community. After slavery in New York was abolished in 1827, freedmen settled in the area known since colonial times as Sandy Ground, which was located in the area around what is now the intersection of Bloomingdale and Woodrow Roads in Rossville. These early settlers were skilled in the oyster trade and brought this knowledge with them to Staten Island. Oyster harvesting Staten Island was mainly conducted on the island's south shore. The area of Prince's Bay was the main hub and was within walking distance from Sandy Ground. Sandy Ground also served as an important stop on the Underground Railroad, and is the oldest continuously settled free black community in the United States. Oyster farming ended around 1916 due to water pollution in the harbor. Fire of 1963 On April 20, 1963, Rossville was the scene of the worst of three devastating brush fires to strike Staten Island. The three fires collectively destroyed more than 100 homes, rendering over 500 persons homeless and causing in excess of $2 million in damage. Although remnants of the original Sandy Ground settlement still exist, most of the original houses were destroyed in the fire. Rossville's character was transformed permanently by the fire, for once the Verrazano Narrows Bridge was opened 19 months later, it and many other Staten Island neighborhoods saw massive new home construction. 
today the Sandy Ground Historical Society, which preserves the history and physical surroundings of the Sandy Ground community and maintains a museum and library, was organized on February 28, 1980 at 1538 Woodrow Road. Although originally mostly farmland, Rossville has become largely suburban in nature, a fact lamented by its original residents, nearly all of whom have since moved away, in many cases after having been bought out under pressure from aggressive developers who have torn down most of the original homes and replaced them with condominium developments and semi-detached homes. Ten families descended from the original settlers, however, still lived in the area as of 2008. Landmarks are Older Structures Street, Joseph's Church and Cemetery Street. Joseph's Church, the oldest Roman Catholic church still standing on Staten Island, is located on Poplar Avenue in Rossville, St. Joseph's was founded on July 2, 1848 by Father Mark Murphy, pastor of St. Peter's Church when he celebrated Mass for 58 Catholics in a house on Rossville Avenue as a mission of St. Peter's Parish. In 1851, a small chapel dedicated to St. Joseph was completed on Poplar Avenue, when Father Francis Decaro, OFM, was appointed as first pastor in 1855. Saint Joseph's became an official parish, the third oldest of Staten Island's 36 parishes after Street, Peter's and Saint Mary's. Saint Joseph's Cemetery, which dates from the early 1850s, is the second oldest Catholic cemetery on the island. Rossville African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church The Zion African Methodist Episcopal Church was formed on Deck 5, 1850. William H. Pitt was the first minister, and the founding members were Caesar Jackson, Francis Williams, William Webb, William H. Stevens, John J. Henry, Moses K. Harris, Israel Pitts, Isaac Pernell, Ishmael Robbins, Henry Jackson, Elizabeth Titus, Sarah J. Landin, Esther V. S. Pernell, and M. Bishop, Grace Williams and Louisa Harris. The current building is one of four African-American churches on Staten Island which predate the 20th century. It is also one of two churches affiliated with African Methodism on the island which predate the Civil War. Harris Home One of the more prominent families to live there was the Harris family. The circa 1906 home of Isaac Harris still stands at 444 Bloomingdale Road. He was the son of Silas Harris, one of two brothers who settled in Sandy Ground with their families early in its history. The Isaac Harris House was designed by architect Stanford White of the firm of McKim of Mead and White, who drew up the plans as a gift after Harris's years of service on his household staff. The house boasts a gambrel roof and front bay. Harris's home is one of only about 12 of the original old homes still standing in the community. Many families still live in the community that was founded by their ancestors. Landmark properties Five properties have been designated as New York City landmarks. Newer structures with Marine Scrapyard One of the largest marine scrapyards on the East Coast. The Witt Marine Scrapyard is located at 2453 Arthur Kill Road in Rossville, now officially known as the Don Joan Iron and Metal Scrap Processing Facility. The scrapyard was opened in 1964 by J. Arnold Witt, Sr. The scrapyard is known for its large assortment of obsolete steam tugs, ferries, car floats, and other craft. Witt acquired them faster than he could break them up. The end result is dozens of vessels slowly rotting in the muck of the Arthur Kill. A number of noteworthy vessels, including the New York City Fire Department fireboat Abram S. Hewitt, which was involved in the rescue of survivors of the 1904 General Slocum tragedy and was the last coal-burning fireboat in operation in the FDNY's fleet can be found here. Scenes from the 2010 thriller Assault, starring Angelina Jolie, were filmed on location at the Whit Marine Scrapyard.
Woodbrick Estates and Fawn Ridge There are two large condominium developments in Rossville. One is known as Woodbrick Estates, which is a 629-unit development with two, three, and four-bedroom condominiums. This development was completed in phases between 1981 and 1987. Woodbrick Estates is surrounded by Barry Street to the north, Rossville Avenue to the east, Wynand Avenue to the west, and Javille Street to the south. Fawn Ridge, which was constructed by Must Development Company, was built between 1987 and 1990, and is located along Coral Avenue between Rossville Avenue to the east and Wynant Avenue to the west. A 26,000-square-foot shopping center, located at the corner of Rossville Avenue and Graff Street, was opened in 1992. New Firehouse, M Station Rossville is also home to the city's first new fire company in over a decade, FDNY Engine Company 168 which was organized in June 2005. Engine 168 operates out of a brand new firehouse located at the corner of Rossville Avenue and Veterans Road East, which was built in 2004, and is staffed with an FDNYM's battalion. Education Rossville is served by the New York City Department of Education and is located in Region 7, Community School District 31. Elementary school students are zoned to PS 56 Louis Desario School, and middle school students is zoned to either as 75 Frank D. Paolo School or as 34 Tottenville School. For children with learning and emotional disabilities, there is a K-12 special needs school called South Richmond High School PS, is 25. The Roman Catholic Elementary School in the area is the Saint. Joseph Saint. Thomas School. Nearby high schools include Tottenville High School, St. Joseph by the Sea High School. Transportation. Rossville is served by the S74 84th local buses on Bloomingdale Road and Rossville Avenue, and the S55 on Bloomingdale Road. It is also served by the X22 Express bus on Rossville Avenue. Some parts of Rossville are also within walking distance to the Staten Island Railroad. The S55 also takes riders who are too far or prefer not to walk less than a block from the Pleasant Plains Staten Island Railroad stop. Notable residents James A. Bradley, brushmaker, financier, New Jersey State Senator, philanthropist and founder of the New Jersey city of Asbury Park and the town of Bradley Beach, which bears his name. Jasper Francis Cropsey, a landscape artist of the Hudson River School who was born on his family's farm in Rossville. Caleb Leon, a noted lecturer, poet, author, writer, and politician. He designed the seal of the state of California. He served in the New York State Assembly, the New York State Senate, the U.S. House of Representatives, and later served as Governor of the Territory of Idaho. Daniel Rodriguez, an operatic tenor known as the Singing Policeman, for his former work with the New York City Police Department Ceremonial Unit, as one of the department's designated national anthem singers.